Hey YouTube, what's going on? Fishy15 here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a zip file using Xcode 4.2 beta for developers. So this is actually pretty tough for me to actually learn how to do this on the new Xcode build. And I don't know why Apple took it out when you tried to create a new project. You didn't get the zip file and you actually have to create your own now for some reason. I'm guessing they want you to actually uh, code the whole thing. But anyways, it's way easier when coding. And I will show you guys how to get this. So you can open up Xcode. And again, I'm running 4.2. And if you have any other version like 3 or uh, 4.1 or something, you will not need to do this because it's already built for you. So you just go ahead and application and iOS, make an empty application, just name it whatever you want, whatever app you're developing. I'm just going to name mine a test real quick. Hit next, just uh, create it on the desktop or wherever. And now as you can see there's no zip file under the app delegates where there actually should be one. Um, but to get this um, you need to right click, click new file on your test or whatever you name it. Uh, go to user interface under iOS, uh, create an empty application. Make sure it's on the iPhone family and not the iPad unless you're actually developing something for the iPad. But I'd recommend just to stay with the iPhone for now. And you want to save it as uh, main window. Well, you can save it as whatever you want. Um, it will put this .zip after it for you so you don't need to type that. But um, in the other earlier builds of Xcode, like 4.1, it actually named it as main window .zip. So that's why I'm naming it as main window, just so it's easier for me. So now it'll load. And now as you can see, you have a main window .zip. So now we can go over here to your placeholders. You can click on file owners. Um, you can click on that right there. And then now we're going to want to um, rename this to uh, UI application. So we can click right here and name it as UI application just like that. And we're now going to want to uh, drag in an object into the objects. So drag in an object and we are going to want to name this um, your test app delegate or whatever you name it. So like you can see mine says test right here. You want to put the name of your project right there. You can also rename the Xcode specific label to uh, test app delegate. Just go ahead and hit enter. And now we are going to want to drag in a window. So just go ahead and drag a window in right there. So now here's a little bit of coding we actually have to do when uh, making your .zip file. So you're just going to want to type in IB outlet right in the test app delegate dot h or app delegate and just put it right where mine is right after the nonomatic and ui window right before that so that is the only coding bit we will have to do in this so now you can go back to main window you're going to want to click on files owner click on the little arrow over there and now we're going to drag the delegate control drag it and drag it onto test app delegate release it right there now we can click on test app delegate we can drag the window onto window right there and we are almost done now we can go back and click on your project your main project part and your main interface this is the only part you'll have to change just type in main window or whatever your dot zip is named mine is named uh, main window and so I'll name mine that for my main interface go ahead and hit enter and then do command s or file save and we should be good um, that is pretty much it um, I will just go ahead and throw some stuff on here so you guys can actually see it running on the iPhone simulator. I'll just name it a test. Uh, we can throw a button up here. Let me just call it a back button. And this is pretty much all we need. Um, I'll throw a cool little spinner bar right there. <laughs> but um, here we go. You can save it again. And then we can just go ahead and hit run. You shouldn't get any errors because you didn't really write any code unless you messed up the little bit of code that I told you and if you did just rerun the video and try to type it in again and as you can see the iPhone simulator is running and here we go your iPhone now has the um, view controller up and this is basically it guys this is a very simple tutorial but it was actually pretty hard for me to actually figure out how to do this um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my other videos on this channel. Be sure to subscribe to my other channel, Fishy Vlogs, for some cool stuff over there. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Fishy15 if you guys have any help or if you need help or you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.